Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. Welcome back to the show. All right, today we're gonna do a product review. Haven't done one in a while, so let's check this out. It's called the Perfect Brownie Pan Set. You guys have probably seen this on TV. It's got the little dividers that cut down into the brownies, and you bake it, and they come out, and it lifts up, and it's all wonderful and cute and beautiful. So we're gonna see if it's worth it. I paid like 20 bucks at Walmart for this, but you can get this pretty much anywhere, okay? The Perfect Brownie Pan Set. And I'm also gonna show you how to make homemade brownies, okay? But first, I just wanna thank you guys. Those of you who watched the poutine video corrected me for using yellow cheese, I should have used white cheese, uh, corrected me for not putting the hot gravy on top of the cheese, I put the cheese on top of the gravy, which is completely wrong. I wanna thank you for correcting me. In fact, I wanna thank you for correcting me over 300 times. That's right, you guys told me the same thing 300 times. I love you guys. You don't even look at other comments. It just cracks me up. Anyway, I do appreciate it. If I screw up here on the show, I wanna learn how to do it right. So if I'm doing something incorrect, please call me out on it, all right? All right, so, oh, and by the way, Marianne, uh, who is uh, French Canadian, sends me this picture of her version of poutine. Thanks, Marianne. Keep the pictures coming. If you guys cook something, I wanna see it. Uh, let's go over the ingredients real quick. Don't forget, all these ingredients will be listed in the instructions on my blog. Okay, so if you want the recipe, go to the blog address below. It'll all be waiting there for you. You can, you can just copy and paste it wherever you want, okay? Now, you're gonna need five eggs. You're gonna need one cup of butter. You're gonna need eight of these. They're unsweetened chocolate squares. You're gonna need eight one ounce squares, okay? You're gonna need a tablespoon of vanilla. You're gonna need a teaspoon of salt, three cups of sugar, and one and a half cups of flour. That's it. First thing you're gonna have to do is melt the butter and the chocolate. You're gonna put that on a low flame on the stove, okay? You're gonna use a saucepan kind of like this. You're gonna put the cubes and the butter in. The lower the flame, the better, okay? You don't wanna burn it on the bottom. So keep it a low heat, take its time. Make sure your butter is already at room temperature. It makes it a lot easier to melt. Make sure your chocolate's also at room temperature. I'd say it's about 30% done. It's starting to get really gooey. Look at that. Okay, once it's all melted, you're going to set that to the side. We're going to use that later. You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. We'll be right back right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here. Just want to tell you about my line of sauces. They're called the best sauces you'll ever taste. That's right. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. Here's the best hot barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. The best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. And the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. All of them come with a money back guarantee. And if you live in the United States of America, I give you free shipping. I'm pleased to announce that my friends in the Great White North in Canada, I have now set up an order page for Canadian orders. I don't do free shipping, but now Canadians can order the sauces too. Go check it out. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll see you there. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Chalk and the butter's all melted. Now we're going to get our mixing bowl. Make sure you get a nice deep mixing bowl. But before we start mixing this, I want you to go over to the stove and set the temperature to 375. Let's get that thing preheated before we start mixing, okay? Now we're gonna beat the eggs, sugar, and vanilla at a high speed for 10 minutes. Five eggs. Here goes your tablespoon of vanilla. And there goes your three cups of sugar. Once again, we're gonna beat this. Uh, well, really, we're gonna mix it. We can beat it too, but it ain't gonna make much difference. We're gonna use a mixer on this for 10 minutes. Okay, there we go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to blend in the chocolate mixture, the flour, and the salt. And we're just gonna mix it kind of by hand. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pour that in, chocolate mixture. Oh, hey, that means the oven is preheated. We're gonna put in the flour, and we're gonna also put in the salt. There we go. Just gonna mix this in here. That's all they say to do. Now what you wanna do is scrape the bottom. See how some of that chocolate is settling at the bottom? Just kinda of grab the bottom and, and, and kind of a folding in, like we've talked about in the past. All right, I just, I just opened this pan Okay, this isn't, this, I mean, this is nice, but this thing's tiny. Look how puny this thing is. Look, both my hands, look. Let me get a 13 by, hold on a minute. Let me get a, 
Let me show you what a regular, what is it? What is this, nine by 13, right? Is that what this is? It's a nine by 13, that's my normal. This is what they tell me to put the brownie mix in one of these, but, but look at this. Look how much smaller it is. This is tiny. Let's get the divider in there. Here's your little divider. Now what happens is you pour the mixture in here, okay? And then when you're done, the bottom pops up it's like that. Okay, and then you're gonna remove it and you're gonna have sections to serve. Well, I guess it will take all of it. It might take it all. I don't wanna go too high because it's gonna ri rise up a little bit. So let's say that's enough. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, I don't know why, but I was taught when I was a kid, beat the bottom like that, okay? because it takes out all the air bubbles. So just kind of bang the bottom a little bit, get all those air bubbles out there. Okay, so we got that in there. We're gonna drop in our dividers. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, this thing might overflow. We'll see. All right, let's get that in the oven. 375, between 30 and 40 minutes. You're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Every oven's different, okay? Okay, brownies are in the oven. While that's cooking, let's take a look at some uh, emails, some viewer mail, okay? I have a, uh, an email from Rush Rocks 125678. Hmm. God, are, that, are there that many Rush Rocks that you had to go all the way to the number 125678? Yeah, 125677 must have been taken. Okay, so anyway, uh, Rush Rock was looking at my salad night video. I don't know if you guys remember, it was a night, uh, it was one video where I showed you like for dinner, you can make like six different salads, uh, really delicious salads. And he came up with a great idea. He says, another great refreshing summer taste is marinated cucumbers. Mmm. You take one cucumber, you chop, you peel it, and then you chop it. Uh, but before you chop it, it looks like he, you have to fork down the side. Have you ever dragged the fork down the side and put grooves? I think that's what he's talking about. Uh, then you just go ahead and chop it into circles. And about one quarter cup of olive oil. This looks good. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of dried fresh dill. Hmm. And then a little salt and pepper, and it's like a marinated uh, cucumber salad. Uh, that's delicious. Uh, Rush Rock, if you ever make it, send us a photo of that, okay? And that was my salad night video. Now, coming up next week, we're going to be doing, uh, we're gonna show you how to make hamburgers and meatloaf at the same time. They're very similar, so we're gonna do both, okay? Uh, ironically, people are like, uh, hey Jack, you know, your best barbecue sauce, What's the best way to, uh, to use it? And the best way is to use it in hamburgers and in meatloaf. So we're gonna show you how to do that. You can use any barbecue sauce you want, but these recipes are gonna be great. All right, let's go take a look and see if those brownies are ready. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take the dividers out. Voila. Are you ready? Here we go. Come on. It's not popping up. <laughs> it's not popping up. What's up with this stand? Uh, it's supposed to pop right up. There we go. All right, I didn't have it, didn't have it lined up perfect. Now it's lined up perfect. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, here's the part where I stupidly burn myself, but let's take a look at one of these. Try this piece right here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, piping hot, piping hot. Look how beautiful that is though. Wow, it came out perfect. Can you see that? It's very, it's very hot. It, it, dude, look quick, cause it's burning my hands. Now I just wanna show you this real quick. I'm just gonna break this open. Ooh, it's really hot. Look at that. That is beautiful. Can you see that? That's delicious. That's gonna burn my mouth when I try it. I can't wait. Oh man, look at that. Isn't that delicious? It came out perfect. Look at the outside. Look at that. Solid, delicious, smells great. Mmm. Oh my, mmm. That is amazing. One bite, mm, a little bit, a little bit. Oh. I got some here. You want some of that? Right there? <laughs> there it is. 
it's flawless. Go out and get the perfect brownie pan set. It's delicious. Follow my recipe. It's on my blog. Right there. Right there's the address. Right there's the address. See? All right. You guys, you're cooking with Jack, and I'll see you on the next episode.